Good day, mates. Need lost here, and welcome back to Vandal Hearts. Last time I left off, we got done with a very annoying trial. It took about an hour and nine minutes. Something like that. I cropped up a ten minute version of the video for your perusal. Anyway, now that we've got five of the trials done, let's go talk to that weird old man in the tavern. Do I know you, stranger? Thou art the Hue Eternal, the holder of the five prisms. Take the final key, O Great One. At last, my journey is finally over. What a weird man. Let's... Oh, it's the Heaven Key. Oh. Oh, God. I can hold that. And... Uh, let's see here. I don't want to use this one thing yet. I don't think we need to hold this here, either. I'll pass this off on... Say... Ash? Huxley is holding two. I'll give the other one to... Eh, I'll give the... Dolan. Why not? Now... We go to the dojo, with this key, this heaven key. Now, we try to leave, and yes, this is the sixth and final trial of Taroa. Let us transform. Now, for the name like the heaven key, what do you suspect we are doing? Well, we've got a stairway to heaven. Yes, a stairway to heaven with a bunch of level 27 people. That's because Ash is at level 27. Heavens. Hello. What's up? Not a whole lot. Saw your, saw your message. I was like, yeah, why not? I'm not doing anything. I'm playing Andromeda. Please introduce yourself. Hello. My name is Sarah. Hello, Sarah. I, you've caught me in the middle of starting the very last trial of a certain set of trials I'm undergoing in this game. Yeah? Of Vandal Hearts. Basically, imagine that you're in a... In D&D, imagine that you're in a 10-foot wide corridor, and you have to reach okay. the end of it. That's okay. essentially what is going on right now. Are there various trials and tribulations in the corridor? Yes. Various trials and tribulations of enemies that we faced in the past. Oh, fun. Specifically, swordsmen, purple chain users, a couple of uh, hitmen along the way, a few guys that like playing with daggers and claws, Boy. A couple of heavy bowmen, and people that have hammers for some dumb reason. <laughs> also, practitioners of black magic. Perfect. Indeed. It is very perfect. Now, I'm not sure how exactly to go about this uh, deadly trial yet, but I guess I can start with uh, defending the front of, like, the hardiest swordsman that I have. So I don't know if my big ol' armored lug will be able to get to the front in time. <laughs> Unfortunately. <sighs> Alright. Yeah, I guess I could throw some magic in your direction. Yeah. Maybe a little of a 
a Roman candle or something. I'm not <laughs> sure. Oh. What do you know? The Roman candle didn't do very much damage to them. Damn. Hmm. Oh well. I guess I'll move everyone forward and see what they do next turn. Why not? Meanwhile, I've got some, uh, couple of mages on the team. At least one person that's a monk. They kind of like claws. Just you, uh, punching shit? What? Just punching shit? Well, yes. In a way, they're punching shit. And now we wait. That's me waiting for uh, the ERC to come back with me. Waiting for what? It uh, stands for Exempt Review Committee. It's something I'm doing for school. But it's like super, it's like super formal. I see. Well, good luck with that. Thanks. My professor said to all of us that uh, most people don't get through the first time and they have to like correct something before they like send it back in. And it gets approved. I see. At least once. I mean, she was talking about a, a girl in our class who had, who, was, who had already gone through, like, submitted the same thing, like, three times. Like, fixed everything that they wanted her to fix every time, and she hasn't got through yet. Ah. So, uh, it's really intense. I can tell. Speak of intensity, the, uh, hero that I'm not supposed to let die is almost dead. Oh no! Thanks to me doing not so great tactical placement. But on the upside, I can correct that problem pretty shortly here. Nice. By summoning a fairy on my position. Uh -huh. And by fairy, it's spelled like the fairy as in like fairy fire. Okay. I don't know why. It just is. Just is. Oh, I forgot. These guys are heavily armored. The, uh, purple chain users. I say I put out the call for other people to join because this is going to be a long, grueling, brutal battle, I think, because it'll <laughs> take a while to get through, as we are basically on a stairway to heaven at this point in time. <laughs> Meanwhile, I just covered one of the uh, enemies in rainbows. Fun times. some defenses on these guys, who I've actually made their backs exposed to the enemy archers. Not Whoops. a good idea. Well, we'll see if they survive. If they don't, well, either I get through or I have to restart. Who knows? I'm hoping to get through on the first try. But yeah, in case I don't, well, do. there's all these mulligans for a reason. Indeed. And god dang it, I didn't move my guys in a way to let my slow armored guy get through quickly. Oh no! I swear, he only has like a five foot movement range, so it's kind of awkward. On the plus side, I can summon a good old fire dragon with one of my yeah. wizards. And other than uh, 
deciding to warp reality in time and space and location is probably the most used spell that I have so far. There you go. And unfortunately, it doesn't do that much damage because he's got all the guys I'm fighting are basically copies of boss characters that I've fought in the past. Mm. With the exception of the black magic mages that are coming up later and a couple of other things at the end. Well, let's see how this turns out. So, one of my swordsmen has 69 health. <laughs> and now that guy, same guy's at 28 health. Oh dear. Didn't last too long. But, on the plus side... We get to meet a guy named Zoot Gatch. Fun fact, Zoot, Zoot Gatch. I don't know why he was named this. Maybe his parents hated him when he was a child. I was just thinking that. Or maybe he earned the name Gatch because looking at him, that is the sound that you make when you look at him. Ugh! Something like that. Indeed. Alright, well, there is a line of Zoot Gatches blocking my way, and couple of archer hitmen that if I don't do something with my one swords might die. A terrible death of arrows. <laughs> well, who knew that flying people were so effective against Zoot Gatch? There you go. I find that my sniper rifle is very effective in blowing off my enemies' heads. Yes. Great. Speaking of sniper rifles... Well, okay, I don't have a sniper rifle here, but I have a bow, which is close enough. <laughs> good enough. And I have a character named Grog Drinkwater. <laughs> yes, Grog Drinkwater uses a sword to stab a hitman in the face. It was super effective. Super effective. Just let me take the lift down, thank you. I want to talk to my space wife. Your space wife. Mass space Effect. Wife. Yeah. She was my original romance. I'm not romancing her. I haven't romanced her more than once yet. Ah. Because I'm trying to romance other characters. I see. So, does it go with by the Honey Pop logic, where you have to romance someone four or five times before they sleep with you? No. Okay. Some of the romances, um... It was kind of like it was in Dragon Age Inquisition, um, which is uh, rather unsurprising to me, honestly. Um, like, they're all different, like... Uh, romancing my space wife, they're like, there wasn't, um, there's, there's, there's always a romance, one romance in all the Mass Effect games, that's the one that has the gratuitous sex scene. Ah. There's always one of them, and I know this one is Cora. I see. And I haven't romanced her yet, but, uh, I planned to do that with a previous writer that I had, but I just haven't gotten back to his playthrough. So when I started this one, I plan on romancing someone else. Um, but I really, I, I really like him with Korra, so I might romance Korra. I so I turned you up because I, while I can hear you over the game, I'm not sure if the recording would pick up on that so well. Okay. Oh well. Anyway, oh. I just know that Anyway, for the audience, just know that there are gratuitous sex scenes in Mass Effect, and she's talking There's about There's always one. one. There's always one. It's just one romance. Mass Effect 1 and 3. It was Liara. Ah. It was two. I've killed two hitmen. And there are no more hitmen. Hoorah. Mm 
because we couldn't remember the other one too. Might have been Miranda. Miranda might have been the gratuitous sexy name aspect too, but I didn't really answer her, so. I don't know. Let's see if chucking a very huge rock at Vorpal Chain Man will do much damage. No, it sounds like fun. Well, okay. It did about a third of his health and damage, so I guess there is that. There you go. There's a, there's a melee weapon in Andromeda. It is literally a hammer. You just smash it. Great. Indeed. Ah, Marger can barely not reach. Oh well. Actually, no, I lied. The uh, heavy armor man, because we're going uphill, is actually taking him three squares to move up instead of five. Oh no. So I have a feeling he's not going to get to the battle at all. Which is crappy, but... Could be worse though, I guess. Gotta go find Liam. I haven't talked to him yet. He's uh, probably on the couch. There he is. There he is. Sitting on some crates. Uh, good job. You had your gratuitous healing, I had my gratuitous, uh, no, you had your gratuitous sex, I had my gratuitous healing. <laughs> I would have said that my character would, was giving gratuitous sex, but I don't know if you'd want old man to be the one giving it to you, so <laughs> it was just healing instead. The old man that happens to be wearing a good old Pope hat. There you go. Is it, is it at all strange to say that, uh, I don't really know if I could classify Liam as black, but he's certainly not a white man, and he's, he's got a British accent. Some part of that is like, those two things just never really seem to match up for me. Well, if he's from, like, England, it, it makes sense. I mean, maybe. It doesn't really- it doesn't really elaborate as where he's exactly from. Ah. This is a Mass Effect thing? Yeah, it's one of the companions. Ah. There's or also a romance from, option because- Is there a from somewhere that is- Maybe. Like, whatever the analog for Britain is in Andromeda. I mean, like, Earth exists, but- I mean, say, aren't you in, like, the uh, Andromeda galaxy for Andromeda? Yeah, I say, uh, tech it probably, I don't know if it exists anymore, considering it took us 634 years to get here. It could so, exist. Who knows if it exists anymore? Just... Not exactly if it's in the form that it is... That you would expect it to be in, say, like, Mass Effect 3 <laughs> or something. <laughs> Now he's also a romance option because honestly, who can't you romance in this game? Indeed. Power. You can romance more people than you can't. Right. Although some of the romances are like gated, so like you can like you can only romance some characters with women and some like with a female character and some with a male character. I just stab a bald so old both. man in the back with a spear. <laughs> And then heal the Grog with fairies. Yes. Because that's what he needs to see when he is drunk. A fairy tending to his wounds. Per mm, perfect, pardon me. Alright, hold on. 
mean, I have inadvertently aggroed uh, Crazy Claw Man to come after me. Or one of them. There's like three of them. Maybe more than that. So... Well, hopefully he doesn't do that much damage. And... Good old Armor Man, three more squares. Alright, I will be right back. Okie dokie. Yeah, so I left my Discord open for this recording, because... Honestly, this battle isn't the most interesting. It's just, as I describe, a two-square-wide corridor. And you have to reach the end to get the chest. Which is going to have the prism in it. Now. No one else has to go. Let's turn over. And the dark mages are approaching too. Surely this will not end in disaster. Okay, so there's three clawmen. Three curses. I reach here. Welcome back. He didn't miss much, just the uh, clawmen decided to approach. And hmm, okay. so did the practitioners of black magic. They oh, yes. can cause streams of e veil. So basically anyone playing Dark Souls. <laughs> they can summon dark hurricanes, which are actually just tornadoes, but they have black winds for some reason. Did I hit everyone? I think I did. Okay, so I almost killed Crazy Clawman number one. I can put an arrow in between the eyes with uh, a steampunk arrow launcher, and I succeeded. But it's so cute. Yeah, it wasn't so much put there as, yeah, though, it's definitely the ladder. Ah. Big scary energy cloud that fucked up a lot of things. Right. So, the person that likes to punch things a lot is also one of my healers. The other one would be the one that has bow pat. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Our man still can't get to the battle. No! On the plus side, he might be able to supplement my healer because he's holding an item that can restore magic points. Nice. So I guess it's not all bad. Although, if one of the mages does get to him before he gets to act, then he's as good as dead. Because magic in this game really screws up people that are wearing heavy armor. Oh dear. Yes. Uh, 
At least there isn't permadeath. Oh god. This is not Diablo 3 hardcore version. Indeed it is not. And now that I'm dealing with a lot of guys in my face, it's time to do the ultimate technique. Summoning a bunch of salamanders to eat them. <laughs> and by salamanders, I mean the fire dragon things. this will do, if I don't end up killing them this turn, is making them waste their actions by healing themselves. Hmm. Why didn't I make a nicer one? No, this was the good one. This was the good one. I made a nice salt rifle. the coal armor? No, no, I didn't. I didn't like myself with coal armor. Well, on the plus side, I managed to burn the witch and the uh, heavy armor hammer users in the clawman. Burn you know. the witch! I you know, my hero also has the ability to light people on fire. I'm How should I know. use it here is a different question. Actually, not. Okay. Screw it. Like he super beefy hands. armor. Like super beef armor. Indeed. Um. I'm going to take out Vetra because I have more. Grumpy Space Grandpa. Really old Krogan who's just angry. Indeed. He's great. Well, the armament are almost dead. I just gotta ninja flash them. Ninja flash! Thunder flash! Uh, do we mean ninja flash is in you're going to very quick them, very quickly flash them, like, genitals? No, as in, <laughs> you use it and you emit beams of light that for some reason kill heavily armored people. That sounds much more exciting. Although, if my monk Sarah did expose her genitals, then that would be an awkward sight. Yes, her name is Sarah. How appropriate. <laughs> Shucks. Looks like the healer is gonna have to get in on this action and use his spells that do damage. Namely, Holy Pressure. Which basically forces someone to listen to Queen inside a uh, interdimensional prison for some time. <laughs> Isn't the most damaging spell, but it is an offensive spell that a healer can use. Yeah, okay, we're. Okay, go this way. An armor man yeah. still is late to the battle. Damn it, armor man. Damn it, Dolan. He I'm had a choice to become a sword armor. man, but he picked up an axe and couldn't stop swinging. <laughs> to be fair, he does look kind of cool in that armor. Although a sword probably would have been more practical for him. Who needs practicality? Indeed.
think I hear a Kevin. Hmm. Kevin! Have him join us. Come join us on Discord. Luke is recording. It's fun times. And currently watching half my teammates get sucked up in a tornado. Oh no! <laughs> At least Armor Man was not in the midst of this. Oh good. But still, it was a terrible thing for Grog to be sucked in this tornado. Grog. And Wait. Grog is being exposed to uh, the stream of Evil. Evil! E2 is being forced to watch Dark Souls and almost died from it, but thankfully mm -hmm. he didn't. Okay, thankfully he's not being shot in the face by the archer. Oh good. Instead, my monk is. But she can take the hits. She's tougher than she looks. Albeit with only 22 health left, but she can take it. Can I go over there yet? Oh. Go over I've, there with my car. I've hit the milestone. Armor Man can now move four squares. It's Kevin! Hello, Kevin. Four squares. Introduce yourself to the people watching this. Hello, I'm Kevin. <laughs> and welcome He's to my man's. Vandal Hearts, where Vandal. I stab wizards in the back with a spear before they decide to suck me ass. into oh, this is a sweet ass paint goddamn job. tornadoes. Oh yeah. Fuck am I going? Damn it, Amon, I know you don't like the war, but that doesn't mean you have to leave a wizard with only 12 hit points left in order for him to whack you with his talking staff. Seriously, man. There are better ways. There are better ways! Don't do it! Can it, well, can I'll have a uh, hero lash swing at the uh, bow woman. She blocked with a bow. How? <laughs> she blocked with a bow. She blinded me with science. To be fair, she's probably using some ultra special bow, but at the same time, she blocked with a bow. Well, are there assholes in here? Yep, there's assholes in here. Yes, there are assholes in here. Oh, oh shit, oh shit, oh shit, I'm getting shot at. <laughs> just watched a bunch of Stormcloaks just massacre this no, Imperial I'm... soldier. Who, who is shooting me? It's this asshole. Get over here. Indeed. Hmm. Come out here. Fight me. I would, but... Do you have a bow? No, I have a sniper. You. you have my axe. Oh, oh, I shot. Yeah. He dead. He dead. Can my other swordsman Die. stab a bow woman? Okay, he does. Good. Stab that bow woman. Clint, you're being promoted to hero. Ash, <laughs> you're going to be demoted back to swordsman. Demoted! And not... This oh, he did. Paragon title that oh, you I currently have. <laughs> Can't even get past somebody with a bow. Maybe Grog will succeed where he'd failed to. What? She blocked Grog with a bow. Seriously, How Grog even? is too drunk How? for this. Grog drink water is too drunk for this. And we're talking about a man who could drink anyone under the table, pro probably. <laughs> Sorry, guys. I can't, I can't, I can't even combat right now. Uh -oh. <laughs> uh, sorry, guys. Uh, I'm too drunk for this. Which one do I aim at? <laughs> do I aim at the seven. bow or the head? There okay, okay. Them. Sarah the ninja monk person managed to dispel this person that blocked both Ash and Grog. We're good. She can punch a aim. Bow woman to death. We're good. Punches. 
I mean, I probably could have used my uh, wizard Zelini and so hard to dispatch her, but eh, why waste their magic when they could be something more dragons at the foes ahead? Give me all that cadmium. Yes, all the cadmium. Okay, I'm gonna get back in the car. Oh, wrong way. I'm walking back across the tundra, and my roommate's walking over, and I'm like, "Oh, I didn't see you there." And he's like, "Hopes if it, if you look up." Oh no, can't go this way yet. No, no, can't Hopes go this you look way up. yet. Sounds like a jackass. Yep. Pretty much. Can't can't go that way yet. Too much radiation. You're radiating. Too much radiation. Yeah, looks like we don't we got much else to do here then. Because uh... I can't go anywhere. Just uh so it looks like looks like we're gonna go to Aya. Well, if there is one thing that my hero is known for, he knows how to do calculus to an extent, and also how to summon fairies to heal people. <laughs> Bam. So I guess he's not all that bad. Clint, you're demoted back to swordsman. Oh, Sorry, Clint, like but you don't now. know calculus. You did your best. Sure, you and the hero and... Our flying friend Diego know how to be cops, but you're not cut not out that for cool the guy. Uh, calculus field. Flying friend Diego. Yes, he was an archer once, but he decided to screw that noise. I want to fly. Yeah. So oh he my. picked up a uh, pair of uh, steampunk wings and a spear and decided to stab people with it. <laughs> Since then, he couldn't stop. Well then, good job, guy. Yes, good job, Diego. What I need. There's also another wingman that I have named Darius, but I wouldn't say he's so much as a wingman as I would say he is someone who strapped jet turbines to his back and somehow find a, found a way for him to function like wings. Darius is a very bizarre man. <laughs> um, no, it's a task. Task, task, task. I shall return. Okie dokie. Whichever one comes up first. Don't put the wizard up front, Luke. Okay. <laughs> I will, however, put my hair up front because all the best generals lead from the front. Oh, yeah, a model of the spheres. That's the missing scientist quest. I have to get both of those from here. Okay. Um. Hmm. The yeah, enemies still haven't done anything. I wonder how close to her kill range I have to be before they act. I have to go to site one. Uh, is where's, where's promise? Is that promise? Or is this promise? I think this is promise. Okay, I'm within Clawman's kill range. Can he do something now? Nope. I'm in the golden wastes. Oh, one. 
this be this one's promise? On the ground near the operational energy storage unit. Okay, I'm in the archer's kill range now. Or at least the second coming with them. And thankfully, the uh, flying spearman that couldn't kill a bowman, a uh, mage earlier, learned how to block arrows. So I guess that's a good thing. Unfortunately, I let Crazy Clawman cut loose with his Storm of Daggers, which summons magical daggers to stab anyone stupid enough to be in his melee range. And it looks like Clint the Swordsman is dead by Hurricane. Oh no! Good job, Clint. You served as a good bait for the enemies. And Clint says, Damn, sorry, I've got to fall back. Meanwhile, my birdmen are fine. Yay, Birdman. And this mage is dumb enough to use a hurricane on my hero. And only my hero. Haha. <laughs> so, in case you missed it, Kevin, one of my swordsmen got killed by hurricane. Son of a bitch. Not just any hurricane, Dark Hurricane. Dark Hurricane. At least he enforced and watched Dark Souls to death. <laughs> They call that evil stream. Now you just die from watching Dark Souls. Yes. <laughs> oh yeah, I knew there was a body there. You're a body there. To be fair though, Clint got stabbed by a storm of daggers before he got hurricaned. Well then. And then shot in the face <laughs> by an archer. So I guess I mean... he would die at some point. <laughs> yeah. That's just the, uh, the icing on the cake there. Indeed. He lived through the storm of the daggers and then being shot and was the hurricane that killed him. Indeed. I mean, sure, maybe someone like Krog Drinkwater would survive this, but not Clint. Damn it, Clint. Why couldn't he be more like Krog? I know, right? He should have been drunk. See, they need to live. I mean, he had reasons to drink, but since he got thrown in jail three years ago and we had to bust him out because uh, we're fighting an evil empire that jails people randomly. Damn evil empires. Yes. If your uh, vanguard unit is known as the Crimson Guard, and yeah, that unit is being awesome. led by someone named Cain Spites, whose dad hmm. is someone named Hell Spites. Hmm. You don't ever fight Hell Spites, by the way. He just gets murdered off screen. Oh, whoa, whoa! <laughs> okay, okay, on screen. But it happened a while ago, <laughs> before this recording, so... Whoever's been watching the series throughout will know what happened here. He's already been murdered. Yes. Dun, dun. And Kane Spites is going to be all whiny about it. And we give him reason to be named Shumeria Citizen Kane. <laughs> He's like the Citizen's Kane of the series. There aren't any other sword wielding villains that come close to him. Damn. The baddest of the bad. Yes. Other than uninspired general character who turns to evil in the Vandal Hearts prequel, Flames of Judgment. But even then, that's kind of a meme in and of itself, because <laughs> the plot of that game is, who else pays in Shumerian gold? Literally everyone who's been to Shumeria pays <laughs> in Shumerian gold. That's right. Even that's the, the next door neighbors pay in Shumerian gold. Never have I ever been to Shumeria. Well, time for Diego to be reckless and stab a mage oh, in the back. Oh. Where's resilience? 
wings. Promise. They allow you to go behind enemy lines and stab people in the back. Yay! Or in the That's front. Or resilience? Or both. At the same time. Yes, that's kind of what Darius does, because all he does is, when he stabs a spear, he dances in a circle and stabs them multiple times. Give me a hug. I'm gonna have Grog stab uh, another archer in the face. Yes. And Damn. actually succeed this time. Good. Wow. Stabby stab stab. Sometimes when you're drunk, even the, the worst aims are right. Yes, it is. Okay, where the fuck is so the drunk. He Finally, just only saw one. He can see yeah. smells in drink colors. He can see smells. And <laughs> steampunk archer outdoes enemy archer. Yes, I have an archer, but her bow is oh. basically a self-loading so, like arrow shooting machine. Damn. It is weird. Most of the uh, promotions game function normally, but some things are weird. <laughs> like Darius's jet turbine wings or Kira's steampunk arrow launcher. I would drive off a mountain. We. Warp. This is the gold wastes. There's resilience, motherfucker. The only thing that stands between me and my goal is a hammer man who's going to heal himself and waste his time, and two statues, one of which I can bust I'm open to get into the back. Oh, that's a bunch of rocks. No, it's not. The mimic. Oh shit, do not dive into the lake, please. I am so glad that the uh, chest is not a mimic. <laughs> because in certain battles, they can be mimics. I'm gonna have my mage uh, bend reality for a minute. One of them, anyway. We not get stuck on a Which, in terms of PlayStation graphic engine capabilities, is kind of somewhat impressive. Short of, say, FMV or something. Archer shoot this armored man in the back. Okay, she can't kill him. It's probably because he has too much armor. But surely Darius can kill him. He yeah, after all dances. Well, okay, his armor is still too thick for Darius to puncture. Turian, looking for a dead Turian. I hate him. And for the lols, we're gonna have my uh, healer use the ultimate healing technique, just so I can guarantee that nobody dies next turn. Dead body over there. The ultimate technique, supreme healing. Supreme. Yes, it is very supreme. It heals every ally on the map, and it heals them to full health. The most supreme of healing. Not the guy I was looking for. And of memes, but mostly healing. <laughs> mostly healing. You know what? I'm gonna have Sarah kill the last armored man. With a uh, ninja flash. Ninja flash! 
Which, despite that it would sound like it'd be a stripper move, it is not. <laughs> it is just you flash a bunch of light just and that flash, somehow yeah. hurts the foe. Thunder flash! Thunder flash! And it kills Armor Man, because flashes of light puncture armor better than spears and arrows do. <laughs> Meanwhile, I'm set up for the final turn. It's just a matter of opening a chest before destroying the last evil statue. Where is this stupid corpse? The only thing the statue can do is shoot a puny, pathetic beam of light at me and hope that it kills. <laughs> But it cannot kill. It's too pathetic. It's the puny. It's a tiny statue. Yes. No. A tiny statue that has that is kind of in the shape of a minotaur, if it's just its torso and its head. It cannot move. It only has twelve magic points, and its only spell, piercing light, is pathetic. Did you? Where the fuck's the body? <laughs> What? In the skin looking for dead bodies know. in the I uh And I've opened the chest and destroyed the stairway. I have found one. I have defeated I have defeated the stairway to heaven. And he's killing AK the, the final trial of the uh, Jesus of this game, Taroa. Two kinetic barriers. And because I have destroyed this final trial, I can now do a special move. That special move is going back into the dojo from whence I just came out of, or was forced out of, rather. And I can tell the uh, dojo keeper, monk person, to tell my hero to upgrade to his final form. It is. A majestic form. Majestic. It's so majestic, I have to screenshot this for you. <sighs> yes. He is the most majestic. The most majestic man. Oh, there's one. Let's paste this into the Discord chat here. Yes, I am doing body. this in the middle of my recording because it is just that majestic. Two more. There's two more. Die, tiny man. Majestic. So majestic that I didn't bother to hide everything else. It you get to see my royal recording. Majesty. So majestic. Wild. Yes. I don't know how he even sees out of this thing. I... I don't know. But it doesn't matter. All I know is that he is basically unstoppable now. He is Damn. so unstoppable that I have to end this episode here. This Everyone, be sure to like this video and subscribe to it in case you like this and or are somewhat sparse banter. And do you want, wish to let the internet know about how they can, like, watch your stuff or view your content or something of that sort? Does it not I, matter? I unfortunately don't have anything. <laughs> yeah, I don't, um, I should think I have, like, one video. This is how I get my kicks. I appear in other people's things. <laughs> yeah. <That is> sufficient. <laughs> anyway. Have a good day, mates. Bye-bye.